Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a wood gasifying stove almost for free. If you guys have been around my channel for a while, you know I love wood gasifying stoves. I've tested some store-bought ones, I've made a few little ones myself, but um, this is an idea that I actually saw on YouTube. This isn't my original idea. And I decided I was going to try it and let my subs know about it because it's a way to save a lot of money and make a really efficient stove for practically free. Um, it's pennies. I mean, it was, if, there's, if there's $5 I put into it, that's, that's more than I spent. So I'm going to show you the components here. First thing you're going to want to do is go to your local Home Depot or Lowe's and get a two-quart paint can. Now, first thing you're going to do with this paint can, take the top off and drill these holes on the bottom. You want eight holes on the bottom of this can, okay? After you've done that, you're gonna cut the bottom out. You notice there's no bottom there. And I actually saved the piece that I cut out. I just used a can opener. And I went in and I deburred all this so it doesn't cut my finger or anything. The next part is a really important part. Um, you can't just use any can. This is a Progresso soup can. Um, if you go to the store, you buy yourself some Progresso soup. I'm not getting any royalties from Progresso for this one, folks. <laughs> uh, buy yourself some Progresso soup, take a can, empty it out, have lunch, and you've got your inside. You've got your burn chamber. Um, I drilled a bunch of holes on the bottom as neatly and symmetrically as I could. And I did, again, eight holes here so the, the air can vent in. And I did 16 holes on top. Now this was a formula that I saw in another video, again, it's not my original formula, but uh, we're going to test it out and see if it works. Now the reason you want a Progresso soup can, this is really neat, it fits perfectly, airtight seal around the inside of this. So I'm actually going to seal these together for the first time, and give it a good shove in there, and there you go. There is no gas or anything that's going to be escaping out of that ridge. It's right in there. So, if you want to have a real compact situation here, cover that up, fill it up with your wood, take it out, you're ready to go and burn it. Now, if you notice in the beginning, I added something. This is some chicken wire I had left over, and it's got some plastic on it, so that will burn off um, some rubber coating or whatever. I'm probably going to need better wire because I think this is copper wire, and it'll melt eventually. But we're going to fire this up outside, and we're going to give it a shot and see how it works. So I'll be back when I got it filled and going. Right, so I just lit it up. I didn't use anything fancy. Just a uh, lighter and a uh, soaked cotton ball. We're going to let it burn down, and we're going to see how it works. I got it all filled up. And uh, when it starts gasifying, I'll bring you back to take a look at it. All right, as you can tell, it's starting to come out of the burners, out of little holes on the side. And it's burned down a little bit. I'm not going to move it too much, but you can see it coming out on that side. Um, and yeah, this was covered in plastic. It definitely got chipped off. But it is actually steel underneath, so that'll be perfect for a pot stand. The nice part about setting it up like this is while I have a pot on it, I can always feed it through the hole there, and it will keep burning. So it is a little windy, and it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it is coming out of the jets. Whichever direction I turn it, wherever the wind is blowing, the jets are coming out. And it has been fairly smoke-free, aside from the uh, burning plastic on those... Uh, on those um the chicken wire other than that it's working very very well and it's free i mean practically free i think the paint can was 99 cents and the, the soup was i don't know buck something you can't beat that and you build your own little uh gasifier stove you've saved money and when you want to pack it up you just take that piece on top stuff it underneath put the cap on it and you're good to go so anyway that's my little two can homemade wood gasifying stove and if you'd like to try it out, um, give it a shot, see how you like it, see if it works for you. And don't forget the formula that I, that I found myself, which was eight on here, eight on the bottom of the inside can, and 16 on the top. And you should be able to get a good, uh, a good fire going. I don't know if you can tell, but it's really windy out here now. Um, and it's all coming out of the jets. It's all coming out of the little top wood gas uh, holes on the top. So I'm pretty pleased with it. Anyway, that's about it for today, so thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you guys soon.